So today is the seventh. I got my appointment for a haircut for a two. The haircut will with beard will cost me twenty two hundred, so which is twenty two dollars, which is pretty expensive because this is damn near American prices for a haircut. But it's like the most famous barbershop of the city, so I guess it's not bad. Yesterday was crazy, guys. So I went to a club yesterday, right? I was dressed like this. And as you guys can see, my pants are like a little sporty. And because of that, and I was wearing some Easy's. So the first club I go to, I was with friends that I met here. They didn't let me in. They dress coded me. So then I go home and, and they tell me, oh, this, this party is boring. And they barely reply to me. And I'm like, we're going to go to this club. And I get the address. I'm, I go to the other club. They're not replying to me. And I'm trying to just get in by myself. I was like, you know what, I'm going to see. And you know... I have never been rejected like that. So I go in, there's security, I'm like, I see just three Russian guys uh, getting in and they're like, they're saying like, basically like, oh, there's too many guys of you and stuff like that. But they said something and they just got in. So then it's me, I was like, hey, can, can uh, one person get in? He's asking on his uh, like headphone, I can't hear nothing. Maybe I feel like he was faking it. He says like, can he get in and stuff? And they're like, no. At, th at first I thought it was because there was too many guys in there, but then, I go to uh, wait and I see like like seven people, like seven guys get out. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can. And I see two guys that were standing outside get in. And then I go again, but to a different security, I'm like, hey, uh, like I see a lot of people coming out, can I get in? And then he just very rudely says like, you were declined, you cannot get in. Like he was saying that like, I never felt like, nobody ever like rejected like that, you know what I mean? So I feel like I was like, discriminated i don't know because i don't know if you guys know that but a lot of people like middle eastern guys or persian or anything like that with beers that look like arab in these countries in any european or like east european or like these countries they get discriminated like crazy and i i, I changed my pants by the way i was in, in black pants i had black pants on because i changed I would, it was a crazy night i just came home at 3 a.m and i didn't get to do nothing i wasted like i went I ordered a taxi like five times. I think it's Sunday, all the banks are closed. Look at these cakes. So, they have like bread and stuff like that. I'm about to sit down, look, even salads. So I always put two teas. I got some 12 again, as you guys know. They don't always wash their spoons very clean, so I'm a cleaner right now. I'm still mad about yesterday. By the way, this clove is decent. It's good, but it's very oily. Not too much like taste to it. The meat is kind of dry, not gonna lie. So this is decent. And the price over here is more expensive than the other place. I well, basically I asked them if I can cancel my order for the barbecue. I mean the shashlik. They said no, but we can take it to go. I was like, okay, that's fine. Well, I wasn't expecting anything else, so. I drink this hot tea and I'm so hot right now. Your head first. Can you say something? They're gonna wash my head and then I'm, I'm gonna get a haircut. Okay, so I'm get on the haircut. He just started, he's talking on the phone, but. I kinda trust him. At first I thought it would be a bad experience, but I trust him, so. I'm gonna show y'all afterwards. Would you they never really wash hair, but it's cool. Hey, since okay, this regularly cost twenty two hundred, which is around twenty dollars which is exactly $20, by the way. But since it was my first time here, it was it's a 20% off and it's $1,800. So $18, even less than like $17, like $17.50. So what they do is they wash your hair first, then you go get a haircut, they uh, do your beard, then you go get a wash again, and after that, you, uh, after he cleans you up everything, you go back and he washes you again so he likes to clean the hair and then he puts tons of type of sprays on your hair on your face so you smell good and look good i give this 10 out of 10. i got three tickets tomorrow we're going to uh samarkand and then we're going to bahara 
So now I'm at the Central Park of Tashkent. You just see a lot of people playing table tennis. And there's girls making TikToks. And there's a, some type of show. Oh, they just have a little show for kids. They were doing the little rope pole, pull and, uh, and honestly, if I was in there, because the, basically the older men and like their parents let them win, man, I would have pulled that shit all the way. I ain't giving no win to kids. So we're about to try these waffles. It's kind of cold and things like that taste really good when you get it at night. So, all right, so I got this with banana and kiwi. It was two dollars. Even less than two dollars, probably like one dollars eighty cents. We're gonna try. They also drizzle, drizzles chocolate. I'm not a big fan of chocolate, but oh well. I don't know why my leg is hurting. I'm kind of. Look, I'm in Paris. Oh my god! Came here. This is the biggest. What is called Paris Wheel in Central Asia. It takes twelve minutes to go in a full circle. Online, it said that it costs like one dollar twenty cents. It cost me 10 cents. It was a seven, it was an eight minute, eight to 10 minute drive. It was only $1. So if you guys ever want to come here, go ahead, come here. By the way, because of mo uh, mobilization in Russia, people are coming here. People are already complaining that the housing prices went up like by two times. I actually met somebody that told me that they got kicked out. They didn't have a contract on their apartment. They got kicked out because they raised the rent from 600 to a thousand dollars. News. A regular ticket was two dollars and VIP was three dollars. The prices went up, but that's cheap as hell for America. So I got a VIP, of course, for three dollars. And look how many people we have here. Just me by myself in the VIP. I can even switch up the light if I'd like. But ah, life is great. Go go karting for like nine dollars nine dollars that's crazy i just paid for it i never went on it it only has like 12 horsepower but who cares i want to try it and see how it is I rode the go-karts it was so much fun like crazy fun i don't know it was drifting i came on second bar pull up again eating this unknown piece of meat i'm gonna tell you guys one thing this chicken kebab it's so soft and tender like I never tried anything like that like soft like that so it's super good I don't know I need to know the recipe I'm not leaving without a recipe it's super good like I feel like it's because they marinated in something which makes it like very soft overnight it just melts in your mouth like I never tried a chicken like that in my life so today's the next day already let me clean the camp oh I found the Minor Samsa this is the place right there there's a lot of it's like in the middle of nowhere and there's a lot of restaurants here. I don't know why, but we're going to try it. It is counted as the best samsa in Tashkent and there's a big line to get it. Uh, looks like I'm next. We're about to get it and let's see. Yes. <laughs> I already tried it, but as you guys remember, I, this was 8,000 each, so 80 cents, plus the sauce is 50 cents. I've tried it already, and I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't say it's the best, but with the Chorsu Bazaar, where it was half the price, which was 4,000, it tasted, I would say, damn near the same. I don't know, I love triangle shape, and the sauce over there was much better, but it's still good. I like it. I like how it tastes, but it's just... They're just so hot, like, the way they make them, like, it keeps the heat inside. So it's very good if you take it home to the family and stuff and you, like, hold it for a long time. But if you eat it right away, it kind of hurts your mouth. And I don't want to wait. But it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. So there's a beautiful park right here. And uh, there's water. And I just seen some people just riding on a boat. And it just looks so peaceful. I have nothing else to do but spend my money. So some guys told me it's at the beginning by the entrance. I'm gonna go there and check it out. And to be honest, I want you guys to guess how much it's gonna cost. To be honest, I think it's gonna cost around 100, 100K. But then at the same time, not yeah, I feel like it's like around 100 or no more than 250. Definitely no more than 250. 
I remember I said I thought it was gonna be a hundred K. I don't know why my think it's go karts were ninety five. Why would it be this would be like a hundred, but if you're under fourteen, twenty, forty, four dollars. Four dollars. So we're finna go. If you want you can call Mahmoud. This is his number. These are the boats. Which look pretty cool. I'm gonna go by myself right now with somebody basically. He's gonna be driving me. This guy going fast. They're so thin, they look like they go super fast. They're playing music. Look at this. Beautiful. Amazing. Peace. So now I came to a live bazaar. Aloy Bazaar. They sell. I heard they sell a lot of food and stuff like that. What I'm liking already that it's inside of a building. As you can see, they're selling a lot of spices, different kind of things. I've heard about it that this is bazaar is for like spices and stuff like that. Yeah. They got scammed. I bought this half a parrot. I mean a parrot. I mean it's pretty heavy, it's half a kilo. And it costed 35. I mean, three dollars fifty cents. Such a dumbass. I just remember that I'm at the flea market, and I'm supposed to bargain. I just got scammed, like crazy scam. I'm at the Uzbek, basically Soviet houses. This is where like all the people live. This should be a massage salon. I'm gonna get a massage. So. The super massage. Okay, the regular massage. I guess it was three hundred k. But you have to bargain with them. She was trying to charge me like 600. No, she was trying to charge me 900. And then she was like, since you're here and new, I'm going to charge you like six, 700. But then I was like, nah, I'm going to pay 400. That's it. I'm not going to give more. 400 is around $36. She was like, nah, nah, nah. And then she ended up saying yes. I'm telling you, just st stay on your ground. Like, they'll agree. So yeah, super massage was like $36. So it was pretty good. I'm currently at the Tashkent Rail Station. Just landed in Samarkand. I was riding this bus. 10:23. We're supposed to come at 10:08. So kind of want to go to the hostel, but at the same time I don't, cause I'm gonna just go there and sleep. I'll show y'all a restroom that costs 10 cents, so you guys can see. It's a little building like this, and then there's nothing but a. Oh, you see so much shit in there. Okay, I don't want to show that. I don't want to show that. Okay, so we got to this. I got the one. Huh? No, this problem is yeah, see, yes, man. Okay, so they're making my shawarma over there. They make the sandwiches and stuff like that. It's already 11 p.m. I got some shawarma, and to be honest, it's okay. It's decent. The best shawarma I tried was in Barcelona, in Spain, in the Turkish restaurant. It was so fresh. It was so good. I was literally eating it every day. It was only eight euro. It's 9.20 in the morning, everybody, went, after eating everyone went back to the room. I'm currently sitting outside because that's the only plug that I found that is like comfortable outside. Because inside it's kind of like at the end of the room and I don't want to be sitting there and bothering others. Beautiful day today in Tashkent and we're out here, you see a lot of kids going from school, but I visit some place. I met some Russian guys. Literally the whole hostel was full of Russians. But check it out when you see a lot of people just standing there. Let's see what's going on there. Some type of bars. So you open the chocolate and you win something. Look, they want to use B cable. It's pretty cool. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good way to scam people. You buy chocolate and then you can win something. And there was a phone and then you get scammed. Notice already? There's a lot of people getting married right here. They're making little cute videos. 
I know you guys are already wondering, when am, when am I getting married? <clears throat> I'm gonna answer that. Probably at age of 35. Oh, look, I don't know what, the, what this is. Looks like a little graveyard. We'll meet it, guys. Here's the place that's called Registan. It's crazy how it was literally outside my hostel. I'm very happy last day there, so. We're about to get in there. Let's see how much it costs to get in there. It's currently 12.46. I'm kind of getting hungry. Even though I ate maybe like two, three hours ago. People are getting married. People are taking pictures of people. Entrance was $5. Which is pretty expensive for everything here. But not for us. Oh, did I scratch my camera? But... Let's start from left to right. I don't even know. They say, do you need somebody to uh, give you basically a tour, which was like 300K, and then she was like 250, which is like $25. I don't want to do it. I don't care about the history. There's different type of stores in here. As you can see, it's a small little Ooh, look at this. I don't know. I don't like how they make everything like colorful. So, like, I want to buy something, but everything is too colorful. Like, I just want like two tone. That's it. Obvious now that these three places are probably uh, meeting point by pictures I seen in the museum. That people just let's say this was a little mini market, which they call bazaar. And the other two, I'm pretty sure there's probably like a masjid, or, like a mosque where people pray, Muslims. And that one, we'll see what it is. There's a lot of souvenirs. They're all similar. I was bargaining. I don't know if I got scammed or not, but I bought two things for $50. I bought a dress, which is like shulk, silk. Silk is expensive. Just found this restaurant. We gotta check it out. It's crazy how they don't say no prices, nothing, no menu. They just ask you what you want, and then you just pay. So you never know how much it is. So make sure you have enough money. I'm pretty sure you will. So this is the place. Samarkand is even cheaper than Tashkent. The plate of plov that I forgot to record. I'm sorry, I'm a beginner YouTuber, so it was 25,000, which is 2.5 dollars. It came with tea and a salad, pickled salad. This ice cream was only two dollars. It came with this is banana and kiwi, and it's really good ice cream. It's not that big. For 20 cents, man, it's a steal. So our next location is Bibi Khan in Mosque. Don't ask me anything about this, so I don't know, but we're gonna go from left to right. I like how everything is covered with walls. It looks like a castle. <clears throat> you guys are not gonna see much, but you're probably selling stuff like always. Still. Still, still, still. You see? It's a museum. So this is the inside of the mosque, or not a mosque, I don't know, it looks like there's some cracks and lefts of uh, fire. But the building from the outside looks much bigger, let me show you. Okay, I can talk normal now. So the building from the outside looks bigger, let me show you. Look how big that looks. Can you all see? So, it seems like... I'm not supposed to be going there, but I want to. But I don't think it's allowed. But I want to, you know, there's a lot of... Oh, so you can get in here. This all looks from the inside. That is crazy. You see those people? <laughs> Y'all see me. Location is Shahi Bazad. Look at the beautiful view to the city. There's only ladies here. I don't know if it's if I'm supposed to be here. Look at this. It looks beautiful here. And the grave is of Islam Karima. 
I believe it's an ex-president of Uzbekistan. This beautiful city view. After going to the museum, you know what I noticed? They want money for everything. I don't know. I'm probably just used to like water being free in America. Even though it's not a lot, it's only 30 cents. And then usually the restroom, they're like, oh, that's that's 2,000, which is like 20 cents. I'm like, damn, they don't want money for it in every corner here. But who cares? It's not a lot. So this is the ancient, I don't know how you say it, like a town called Afro Siyab. I'm here by myself. It does not look exciting yet. Let's get on the hill. As you guys can see, these little things used to be houses. I need to, just, okay, I haven't worked out in probably like a month and a half. And damn, I lost my shape. I used to be in pretty good shape. Now I can't even walk up the hill. Somebody would have brought me here. I wouldn't think this was a city before. All I would say, bunch of holes, they were probably looking for gold. But since I told you guys, you guys know. Finally, the wind is hitting your face. I can't believe it. I'm literally somewhere deep in Uzbekistan, in the middle of nowhere, in an ancient city, which was on the Silk Road. Whew, what am I doing? I'm so far from home. I can't believe I, I made it here. I would have never thought maybe like two years, one year, two years ago that I'd be, I'd be going this far by myself. If somebody told me, you're going to Uzbekistan in one year, I'd be like, what? 